Hey everyone, welcome. Today I'm going to unbox for you my new gaming slash workstation laptop. Uh, decided to get a new laptop for myself. The MacBook is fun, but it doesn't get the job done if it comes to more uh, hardware demanding applications. So I went with this one. It's a 14 inch custom built laptop by BTL. It's a Dutch company and they've been doing this since 2000, so for quite some years now. Uh, we're going to unbox this and uh, yeah, let's see what the first impression is going to be like. Let's get started. Just got it in today. And along the way, we'll talk about the specs of this laptop, the specifications. It's the important, the most important thing for me. So in the box, we find another box. Notebook computer, yeah, okay. It's a very standard box, standard packaging, as you would expect. Got some silica gel for transport. We have the power cord, we have the 120 watt power adapter for powering the device of course, and that's it. We have the laptop and we get back to that in a sec, so more contents and that's all there is to it. First we get to the rest of the package. And we have a driver slash manual CD DVD and they deliver it with the laptop although this one doesn't come with a DVD drive it's nice they included a driver CD we have a manual the user's guide in different languages pretty handy then we have a personal notice in Dutch. Um, they congratulate me with the purchase of this machine. Pixel warranty, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's that. And they include a small bag with two screws for mounting your own two and a half inch HDD or SSD in this laptop. So very nice. The most important thing the laptop itself it weighs two kilograms so it's not that heavy but it is very portable as I said it's, um, it's a 14 inch laptop I could have gone with a 15 inch but I like the portability so that's the reason I went with a 14 inch one yes so the laptop There's a keyboard filled for um, protection for your keyboard and your screen. Um, you can leave it like this when you travel, so the keys won't press on the screen and won't leave a mark on the screen. So a nice touch, thank you. Then we have some protective film for the screen. And this is how it looks like. Very nice. Um, the laptop, the top cover is from what I can guess, aluminum. And first we have a look on the connections of the laptop. If you move over to the left side of the laptop, you get two mini DisplayPort connections. You get an HDMI connection, a USB 3.1 connection, and also a USB Type-C connection. Next to that, we have the microphone input. You have the headphone output. And I believe the one next to that is the digital out connection, but it could be a lining connection. I will post it in the video if I know. If you move over to the other side, you get, if you ordered it, a SIM card slot for a 4G connection. So if you want internet along the way, you can insert a SIM card to that and you have a mobile, uh, mobile internet, yeah. Um, below that is the SD card reader. And next to that, we have two more 3.1 connections, USB. 
Next to that is the Gigabit Ethernet connection and next to that is the Kensington lock. So you can lock it and they won't steal it. That's, uh, that's basically the idea. So if we move over to the back, you can see two big exhausts. One is for the CPU and the other one is for the GPU. And right in the middle is the power connection for powering the device. If you move over to the front of the laptop, there are no connections there, but there are some LED indicators for power, charging, HDD slash SSD activity and uh, airplane mode. At the bottom of the laptop, you can see the ventilation and also a product specification sticker. As I said, the top is from aluminum. The rest of the laptop is from plastic. Yeah. So if we fold it open, you can see we have a nice Qwerty keyboard. Um, you can also go with a Belgium one, then you get an Azetti keyboard. Um, it is a backlit keyboard, but it's not RGB. So in a second I will power it on and we will see what color it has. I think it's like bluish or white. Below that we have a nice big trackpad um, with also the left and right mouse button as you are familiar with. At the top you have two stereo speakers uh, driven by, if I'm not mistaken, Soundblaster x uh, audio and the screen is a 14 inch full HD IPS panel with a matte finish, so that's really cool. On top of that there is a full HD webcam with microphones. So Those are basically the connections and features this laptop has. As for the inside of this laptop, the most important thing for me uh, the CPU is an Intel Core i7 7700HQ at 2.8 GHz base clock. Uh, this is the base model, that means it comes with 4 GB of DDR4 BTO selected memory. Um, but it's a built to order laptop, you can customize it yourself. You could also went with, uh, with 8 GB or 16 GB or 32 GB for that matter. The graphics card uh, it comes standard with is a GTX 1050. I changed that option to a GTX 1050 Ti because I like to play games and it gives you a little, uh, little better frame rate uh, compared to a 1050. So a 1050 Ti it is with 4 GB dedicated video RAM. Um, for storage it comes a factory default with a 128 GB M2 uh, SATA SSD. Um, they have a read speed of 560 megabytes a second and a write speed of 300 megabytes a second. So, not the fastest SSD money can buy, but it will get the job done. As I said before, there is an option for inserting your own 2.5 inch HDD or SSD. And that's what I'm going to do. I have a couple of SSDs laying around here, so I will upgrade it myself. But when you order this, you can choose to let BTO upgrade this for you. You can order it to your liking, so that's really cool. Um, as for the SSD, it supports M2 uh, SATA as well as M2 PCI Express. So, factory standard, it comes with no operating system. So you need to buy your own, or you need to provide your own operating system or order one uh, when you place an order with them. Um, I went with no operating system because I will provide the license myself. If this is too small for you, you have another option. It's the BTO 50CL71. Hardware-wise, it's basically the same as the 14-inch model, uh, only this one has a 15.6-inch screen, and this one has the option to upgrade it even to a 1060. This model, configured for a customer of ours, comes with a i7 7700HQ as well. Um, graphics card is the same as this one, a 1050 Ti with 4 GB of VRAM. This one comes with 8 GB of DDR4 memory, um, installed by BTO. It comes with a 128 GB M2 SATA SSD, same as this one, so the basic SSD you order. But the big difference with this model is an RGB keyboard. Of course you can adjust it to your liking, you can set it to one color specific, you can turn it off, turn it on again, and adjust the brightness. Same with this keyboard, you can adjust, adjust the brightness. If we have a look at the connections of this laptop, if we move over to the right side, you see a headphone out connection. Next to that we have a microphone in connection. Next to that is a USB 2.0 connection if I'm not mistaken. And next to that is the USB 3.1 connection. 
move over to the other side. We have the power input, we have a gigabit ethernet connection, we have two mini display port connections as well. We have a HDMI connection, a USB Type-C connection and another USB 3.1 connection. And next to that is the SD card reader. The top cover casing of this laptop is from plastic, so it's not metal like the 14 inch one, it's plastic. The build quality feels very decent of these machines and I will turn this one on and we will see what kind of backlit keyboard it has. It has a white. Suits me fine. My MacBook has a white keyboard as well and I like it very much. Uh, for me it's only to type in the dark and nothing more than that. So RGB, I think it's cool, it's fun. As you can see my computer is RGB but I don't want it in my laptop. But it's a personal thing. It's really cool that they included it with this laptop. Normally you would expect that the 15 inch model is more expensive than the 14 inch model, but um, they are almost the same price and this one is one euro uh, more expensive than this one. And with the 15 inch model you get not only a bigger screen, but an RGB keyboard as well. So really cool. What I'm going to do, uh, this one I will install it for a customer. I will run some benchmarks for him on this and uh, see how it performs. I will do the same with my own laptop and um, that will be a follow-up video and once I have run all these benchmarks, uh, as I said, I will do another video of this and uh, yeah, we're going to have a look on the performance differences between these two models. I don't expect them to be that different from each other, but we will see it in the, in the next video and also I will tell you uh, what my user experience of this little nifty machine is. So as I said, I will leave it at this. If you have any comments, suggestions, maybe some advice, please leave them down in the comment section. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye!